Today's story is Trick or Treat Canada. Welcome back to Storytime. I have a special book for you today. While we read from the forest in Canada, in my backyard, we are going to read Trick or Treat Canada. <laughs> kind of a neat idea, eh? I hope you enjoy. Let's start reading. The full moon's out on Halloween. The sky is starry bright. Above the streets of Canada appears an eerie light. It darts behind the scattered clouds. It zips from town to town. It hovers over Calgary, then slowly heads on down. A ramp shoots out. A hatch appears. Smoke pours into the air. A chilling alien silhouette gives owls and wolves a scare. It steps out of the thick white fog. Its skin is neon green. This alien is, without a doubt, the cutest thing I've seen. Welcome to Canada. Map of Canada, Montreal, Winnipeg, or Edmonton. There's just so much to do. And what about Great Bear Lake? But first, a trip to Toronto Zoo. He pulls out his transporter and waves it in the air. Now, in the spot where he just stood, there is nobody there. He reappears in Ottawa and wanders all around, making sure that he checks off each landmark that he's found. Top five tourist spots. Number one, Toronto Zoo. Number two, Parliament Buildings, Ottawa. Number three, Canada Place, Vancouver. Number four, Calgary Stampede. Number five, Canadian Museum of History in Gatineau. He zaps over to Halifax to take a little look, snapping selfies as he goes and posting them to Facebook. Where is everybody? Are they staying in tonight? He climbs up high to take a peek and gets a nasty fright. For all around the spooky town, the streets are jammed and heaving. Monsters and monsters everywhere. It's time that he was leaving. I'd better run, the alien says. I'm not a big brave hero. Oh no, my gizmo doesn't work. The battery gauge reads zero. They're closing in. There's no escape. He scrunches up his eyes. The monsters all surround him, but he gets a big surprise. Hey, high five, dude, a vampire shouts. Great costume, shrieks a ghoul. A little ghost tugs at his arm and says, I think you're cool. So you don't want to eat me then? The little alien asks. They laugh until they're so red-faced they must take off their masks. Sweet antenna smiles the ghost while giving them a flick. The children shriek, what happens next is just the coolest trick. The jack-o'-lanterns all take off and float into the sky. Oh, wow, they gasp. It looks like you're a real-life alien guy. Children dance excitedly. They shout, can you do more? The alien shows them lots of tricks as they go door to door. These antics impress everyone, which comes in really handy, because it means before too long their bags are filled with candy. It's getting late. I'd better go, the alien says at last. I promise I'll come back next year. Canada's a blast. They take him to his spaceship and say their sad goodbyes. They wait for him to start it up and zoom into the skies. But something isn't right because it makes the weirdest sound. The witch points underneath and asks, what is that on the ground? His spaceship has a fuel leak. There's thick goo everywhere. Oh, shucks, he says. It looks like I'm not going anywhere. Werewolf hands out bubble gum and shouts, come on, guys, chew. We'll stretch the gum across the hole and stick it down like glue. Sweet. We'll fill the tank with candy. We've got buckets of the stuff. Throw it in up to the brim. That should be just enough. The spaceship is now ready. The alien turns the key. The engine roars. The spaceship soars and zooms off with a wee. Now it's diving back to Earth. The children shake with fear. Ah, he's just flying past a wave and say, see you next year. Happy Halloween, Canada! The end.